in this class we are going to prove necessary and sufficient condition of a non empty subset of a group g to be a subgroup it is also called as one step test for subgroups and the statement says if we are having a group g and h is a non empty subset of g then h will be a subgroup of g if and only if ab inverse belongs to h for all ab belongs to h meaning you take any two elements of h and you should be able to prove ab inverse belongs to h so there are two parts so first of all i will write down the given things i'll say let g be a group and h be a non empty subset of g and h be non empty further h is a subset of g in part 1 we will assume that h is a subgroup of g and using this we are going to prove that ab inverse belongs to h for all ab belongs to h now in order to prove this as i explained earlier we have to take two elements of h and we have to show that ab inverse lie in h let us begin then so i will start with two elements of h so i will say let ab belongs to h be any elements now the question is what is the meaning of subgroup of g so for that we should recall the definition of subgroup of g so it lies here so we say that a non empty subset h of a group g is a subgroup of g if h itself is a group under the binary operation of g so we have assumed h is a subgroup of g it means we already know that h is a group under the binary operation of g now the question is what is a group so we already know group means non empty so h is already non empty together with binary operation so we are having a binary operation in h which is same as obviously g and then the three properties are satisfied elements of h are associative existence of identity in h is there and existence of inverse in h is there meaning uh if you have a element of h then you will be able to find inverse of that element in h only now in this case as we can notice whatever we have to prove in that we are having b inverse now what does the existence of property say for elements of h for each a belongs to h there will exist a inverse belongs to h such that a into a inverse will be e which is equal to a inverse a so in this case as b is a element of h so definitely b inverse will be present in h right so what i will say as h is a subgroup and b belongs to h therefore b inverse will definitely be a element of h so now here we are having a as a element of h as well as b inverse as a element of h but remember what is our assumption our assumption is h is a subgroup of g means h itself is a group it means h is non empty and we are having a binary operation on h now what is the meaning of binary operation on h if you take two elements of h let us call it as some ab then a dot b is also in h right now here a and b inverse are elements of h so their multiplication ab inverse will also lie in h and this follows from the fact that multiplication is a binary operation on h thus i'll say we have a comma b inverse belongs to h 
this implies AB inverse belongs to H and the reason is since dot is a binary operation on H and that is exactly what we wanted to prove.